G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at multiplying decimals with one another. We're going to start off with an easy example and get into a harder example, okay, just to, to build you up to that. And once you've got the idea with this, you'll be fine. Now, multiplying decimals is much like multiplying any number. There's just a couple of tricks to remember with it. So I'll start off with an easy example. So I did 1.5 times 2.5. Now the way we go about multiplying this is much the same as any other if we decided to do 15 times 23. This is just a couple of tricks. We're going to end up with the same numbers. We're just going to end up with a decimal place being in a different spot. And I'm going to show you how you work that out. So I'm going to write this first out just like a standard multiplication. So 15 times 23, our units line up, our tens line up. Everything's good. I'm not going to do any special ways of multiplication. This. I'm going to do the pretty stock standard way. Okay, so we go 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1, and 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Okay, we put a 0 down here, 2 times 5 is 10, we carry the 1, and 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And then what we do is we add these numbers together, so we get a 5, a 4, and a 3. Okay, so 345, but that's not our answer. It would be it was 15 times 23, that would be our answer. But we're going to be slightly different here. And the way that we deal with these decimal places is this. You look at both of your numbers here. So our first number, you count the number of decimals to the right here, so behind the decimal place, the, the, the part number part. So there's from here, there's one number behind the decimal place. Okay, I'll put it over here, there's one. Here, there is also one number behind the decimal place. So what we do is we add these numbers together. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. And two numbers, that means, is the numbers that we should have behind the decimal place. So we have our 345. Two of these numbers should be behind the decimal place. So 1, 2. Our answer is 3.45. And that's how you work out where the decimal place goes. That's not too bad, right? You're just going to work out, again, the number of decimal, decimal places here, the number of decimal places here, add them together, and there we go, that's how many we have in our answer. So I'll give you another example here. Okay. Uh, the example we'll do now, it'll be a bit of a harder one. Uh, we'll do, what about we do 21.7, and I'm going to times this by 0.61. Okay, so again, I'm going to do this a very standard way. If you want to really want to know a faster way to do multiplication, I have other videos on this, but I'm going to do this a fairly standard way because I think people who are doing this don't want to learn something extra on top of it at the same time just to confuse them. So again, I'll write things out so they line. Uh, I'm going to treat this again, sorry, like 217 times 61, and then I'm going to deal with the decimal places. So I'll write 217, and we're going to times this by 61. So, 1 times 7 is 7, uh, we have 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. I'll put the zero, the 0 down there, 7 6 is a 42, carry the 4, 1 6 is 6, plus 4 is 10, carry the 1, 2 6 is a 12, plus 1 is 13, and now we're going to add our answer here, so we have 7, 3, 2 plus 0 is 2, 3, 1. So how many decimal places do we have? Let's have a look. Here we have one number behind the decimal place. Here we have two numbers behind the decimal place. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. So we have three numbers behind the decimal place here. 1, 2, 3. Our answer is 13.237. Okay. And with this, you can actually look at them and, and sort of say that makes a bit of a sense because we're it's, that, that makes sense. We're not we're a little bit over half of twenty one, so it's going to be thirteen point two seven. It's not going to be one point three because that's that would be too small, and it's not going to be one hundred and thirty two because that'd be way too big. Okay, this is just under just a little bit over half of twenty one. Okay, so hopefully that was some help. The next video what we're going to be having a look at is how to divide decimals. It's a fairly similar sort of technique. Hope to see you then. Bye.